Hello YouTube, hello friends and people in virtual world, welcome back to Baggy's TMD uh, and welcome finally to a loco review on Baggy's TMD uh, I've done a lot of Airfix reviews, this is going to be the first uh, loco review so today we have picked up the brand spanking new Backman Class 90 uh, cost me £152 which weren't too bad I don't think uh, we've got uh, Class 90 90037 in Rail Freight Triple Grey livery Looks like literally brought it about two hours ago. Um, I only went to have a look at it, but we ended up buying it. So we're going to take it out of the box, have a little look around it, tell you a few of the little features that come with it. Uh, apologies for getting anything wrong, because like I say I've literally just brought this. So it's standard Batman box sleeve. Let's just zoom you back out a little bit. There we go. So standard Batman box. And we've got we've got a little warning here. Oops, get in focus. Uh, 21 pin DC decoder that conforms with servo motor operation must be used. Yeah, so this has, I've seen this on a couple of the reviews now, the pantograph raises up and down on it. So uh, Batman have got a special decoder coming out for it. I think it retails at about £35. So I need to get one then because I haven't got one in. Uh, obviously, we've, we'll have a look at the loco in a minute. We've got standard instructions these are quite nice actually they've got a bit of colour on them now so a bit of information on the loco so you can add your couplings retractable buffers so you can put the pipes on it as well uh, you can have it tells you how to um, change the buffers actually so you can have them extended or you can retract them which is quite nice how to fit the NEM coupling how to stick the valance in as well there's a little piece underneath so you can have uh, daylight mode, uh, directional lights uh, on the pantograph end and non pantograph end so you can turn them on off. So it'd be quite useful if you're doing push pull. Uh, pantograph securing clip, we'll keep that on because we don't want it to come up. A bit about running in. Uh, DC C decoder. A lot of information here. Looks like the decoder. Oh, it's already got a factory fitted speaker. That's quite good. So, the decoder goes in the top, so you just take the top off by the looks of it. Yeah. So, like I say, we're going to have to get a decoder for it. So, there's a little bit of uh, information. I quite like this new colour design they've got. That's quite nice. And then we've got the DCC. Whoops, Daisy. Bit of crap that's on my table. DCC function. So, with the chip, you get some functions anyway. So you get F0 for your direction lights, F1 for your cab lights, then F2 for direction lights, uh, day night, uh, F3, F4 for your other direction lights. Pantograph setup. Don't quite tell you how that. We'll have to. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have, to have a good read through this. Yeah, we'll have to have a read of all this on how it all works. I'm taking it that the proper chip that comes with it actually does all the work for you but we'll, when we get the chip we'll take a proper look at that and we just got the uh, warranty card there as well right let's get this loco out of the box so it's a standard sleeved sleeve box a little bit of paper in there I'm fussed about that looking at it we've got oh, set this off so we've got uh, Bits and bobs in there, all the pipes and all that jazz. Uh, some very small depot plates and the um, BR arrow. Yeah, BR arrow. I've just realised I've been doing this all over here and the camera's there. <laughs> so just looking at it in the box, it's quite a flimsy box actually for a Batman box. But we'll take it out. One thing I've noticed is... Oh no. The cam was stuck. I wonder if that's going to be a bit like the... Um, Hornby uh, Class 60, looking at it, it's on a cam. Let's uh, pop that down there for you. Pop that down there. So, yeah, very nicely detailed. Very fine details on this, I say. Yeah, it's on a cam like the Class 60s are. The, uh, Batman, the Hornby Class 60s, so I've got a feeling that that's going to play up. The Class 60s, anything to go by, they will play up. Uh, not quite sure what that bit is there. Uh, I mean, let's have a quick look. 
I'll have to read the instructions for that. But yeah, look at the wealth of detail on that. Bogies look uh, quite free flowing. Obviously, they've always had a problem with the Class 60 where um, you have problems with buffer lock. We do. Uh, I've got two or three uh, Class 60s that I've got, uh, 66s that I've got to have some work done. Uh, very nice livery application. Yeah, that's quite nice, that does. But yeah, there's a couple of, couple of little aerials up here that could get broke off. Let's say the pantograph, we ain't going to touch that. But yeah, so I'm a bit, a bit wary about that. But sprung buffers all round, which is quite nice. And the twist, oh, that's quite good. So you can twist them round to lock them in position. And uh, twist them round, and then you've, you're back to sprung again. That's, uh, that's quite, a nice, quite a nice feature, that is. It's uh, yeah, nice, uh, nice front end. Obviously, we've got the uh, rail set delivery. Uh, I've just been having a quick look, uh, obviously because Baggies is um, early 2000 EWS. Uh, we can get an EWS badge that'll go straight over the top of that, and it'll uh, look the part then for uh, Baggies. We'll just have to have some overhead wires. But yeah, uh, let's just pop it back down again. Have another quick look through the instructions. Now tell us where certain things are so we can have a look inside so looking at it this section here just pops off oh yeah, it has four screws underneath that section pops off so you can get the uh, decoder in there uh, just looking is it that one but it looks a bit that just clips off so i'm just, so I'm just quickly skimming the uh, what's it two small clips let's have a little pop of this see if it pops out all right oh yeah there we go so yeah that little that little thing pops off there and then you've got oh can you see let's uh zoom you in there so you've got all the little switches three little switches in there so you can have uh uh day night mode and then turn in direction lights off whichever end you want which is a uh, quite a nice feature. In fact, let's have a while well, we've got you zoomed in. Let's have a good look at all this detail. I'm sorry if I keep going a bit out of shot. Uh, some very nice etched details here. Some etched uh, etched uh, grills there, so you can just see the horns behind it. That's quite a nice feature. Yeah, it's quite nice. That is. Let's just zoom you back out again. So yeah, like I say, it's uh, looking quite nice. We'll do some videos of it, and we take it up club. So obviously it'll go at club on Thursday. We'll do some uh, videos of it uh, running in. Let's see if I can guess. In fact, I think this could be a bit of a problem with this. I reckon these are going to get broke very easily. So it's just two little tabs. They just slot in there. So if you're a bit uh, heavy-handed, you might... So I'm struggling now to get that back in. I am. So if you're a bit... Um... Oh, there we go. If you're a bit heavy-handed... I reckon you could break that quite easily. But yes, yeah, so like I say, with that piece comes off. If you just look underneath, two two screws there, two screws down that end, and like I say, and that section pops off in there, so you can get to the main printed circuit board on the loco. I say it's very nice. There's a couple of that's that's very delicate. Them are going to get broke. It's all very nice having all this uh, detail, but you run the risk of it getting broke. You do. Oh, I've got what that is now. So that must be... Um, oh, um, If these are running, say, uh, in a... Oh, I can't think I'm thinking... Uh, think, if these are running in passenger service, this little section here... Must rub against the um, rub against the uh, coaches, so that you got, like the rub stops on them. So with them twisted into that position, they must butt up to the uh, butt up to the. Um, oh, I can't think of the words I'm thinking. I like the Mark Threes where the where the uh, corridors are. It must butt up to them. It must. But yeah, like I say, it looks a very nice loco. Like I say there's a few little pieces that might get broke. It's 
looks relatively in proportion. Also, I've got to study how this pantograph works, and when we get a proper chip for it, we'll be able to have a play play on um, baggies or the club's, digi uh, club's digital layout. Like I say instructions are very. There's a lot of writing to get through, so it might take. Uh, a couple of attempts, but like I say, it's got a uh, speaker ready fitted to it, so hopefully it's a decent quality speaker. Uh, running in, I so we have to uh, read about this pantograph and how this all works. I've got a funny feeling some people are going to have some problems with this pantograph, with this servo mount on it. So let's have a quick, quick, skip, quick skim through these instructions. If you have brought a non-sound DCC decoder, you will need to ensure that the relevant CV values are configured correctly for operating the pantograph. A sound decoder that comes compatible with a sound file should already be pre-configured, but you may want to check against our settings. It doesn't actually tell you what function makes the pantograph come up and down. It doesn't. Uh, so I'm hoping that when they um, when they give us the chips, it comes in the chip and tells you what function makes the pantograph go up and down. I'll take it that Lego Man Biffo will have a sound chip out for this. Pretty sure he's pretty sad, and I'm pretty sure we'll have it all set up ready to uh, ready to rock and roll with sound. But yeah, like I say, it says a little review on the brand spanking new Batman Class 90. Like I say, we'll get some uh, running in footage of it um, on Thursday. Obviously, oh, I missed that. You've got all the pipe detail down here already on it as well. It does look smart. It does look a lot better than Hornby's. But if you're in the market for a cheap one to um, do bits to yourself, the Hornby one stands up quite well. Like I say, the pantograph isn't going to be so fine, but uh, PH Design do a full kit so you can make it look rather smart. So, yeah, hoping you've enjoyed that little review there on the uh, brand new Class 90. Don't forget to like, subscribe. If you want to see anything else, stick a comment in the comment section, and I'll see you later, guys.